guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Let me put my hair. Ugh. I got my hair done yesterday and it's a little sensitive in one spot, so I'm like trying to make it less uncomfortable. But I got another braid, braided right ponytail. Um, hi, I'm currently just going to unload the dishwa dishwasher and tell you my life for a second because i was planning on filming or vlogging way earlier this week but um my mom got surgery on monday and her recovery has just been really hard so there was just not really time for me to do so and um oh, she's actually at the hospital and now with my sister getting like blood work and stuff done because she's just in a lot of pain so we're trying to figure out if there's anything we can do i started my morning walking devon and i went to a wax appointment and then i well now i'm doing this um i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to work in a little bit and i'm actually gonna show you guys my new kind of full coverage foundation routine because i tried this out Two days ago and it looks really good so <laughs> i'm gonna share it with you also today i'm picking up mr barnacle <laughs> i'm picking up my puppy today um i've just been getting texts that they like are on the plane right now they're on their way let me show you the photo they sent me and he's in um a little travel thing with his brother spot but this is Barney, Mr. Barnacle. And they were like, oh, they're a little bit nauseous, so bring an extra towel just in case. I'm like, my baby's nauseous. Poor baby. He has to fly for like four and a half hours, and I feel so bad. So I cannot wait. I'm just going to be vlogging for the next couple days. Um, and I'm obviously going to film when Barney gets here. I'm not sure if I'm going to film the actual handover. I might ask my brother to just like film with his phone, but we'll see. I'll definitely film in the car. I just want to try to make it not too stressful for him. Oh my god, I'm literally so excited, you guys. So yeah. Oh my god. Anyways. I need to sneeze. Ooh, I just spat everywhere. I'm going to finish doing this and then I'm going to get ready. I'm going to show you, briefly show you my makeup routine. Okay, I hope this kind of works. I put a light on my camera, but it's making it a bit heavy, so... So, ignore the mess in the background. I'm going to need to clean still. I need to do a lot. But let me show you my new makeup routine. I'm first just going to wet my beauty blender real quick. I also need to fix my ponytail when I'm done. Because it's... I put it quite loose because it was hurting my head. <laughs> okay, first just going to put on some lip balm. Okay, so the first thing I use is this Hourglass primer. It's a mineral veil. If you watched my last vlog, that's when I bought it got this in a travel size just putting this all over my face and then i go in with foundation i feel like now that the weather is not as hot i can get away with the foundation again because it's not as hot so it's not gonna melt off i don't know what color i used Let me pump both of these out. This is the NYX Born This Way foundation. Okay, I definitely need that one. Um, I think we're going to use the color Caramel. And I'm using this NYX brush. It's the 108. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush and just start on like the outer part of my face and blend it in. But I'm like not just like dotting it on my face. I'm just starting really with this. I'm starting really light and just grabbing a little bit as I go. Instead of just like throwing it all on my face. I'm using you in. Instead of just putting it all on my face, I'm starting light and just like working my way 
inward and just like taking my time to blend like usually when I put on foundation I try to blend it as fast as possible but now I'm like really taking my time it's definitely not my perfect match but I don't have any other colors right now and I just put it straight on my baby hairs it's disgusting again not the perfect color match but yeah I'm going to contour with the NYX Born to Glow concealers contour and then just like normal, normal concealing I'm gonna do that right now So I just put on some, my mom just came home. I'm just doing my brows, but um, I put on the NYX Born This Way. No, not NYX Born This Way, what am I saying? Too Faced Born This Way concealer underneath my eyes. Um, and I'm just letting it sit while I do my brows because that gives them more coverage. My brow routine is the same. I just use a brow gel and I just put that on and <laughs> carve them out and I use a pencil. Uh, my brows don't look their best, but they're okay. Men are upset. It's a pure necessity to worship her. Okay, now I'm gonna blend this out. And it's super covered. Super coverage. Period. But okay, just going back in with this to blend everything. I feel like the biggest thing I've just like been doing differently is just blending a lot more and this brush is really nice. Guys, this powder, it's the Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder. Best powder I've ever used. It's a travel size, ooh, it's a travel size, but I'm definitely gonna get the bigger one once I run out. I'm just blending out all my any creases and the makeup and then setting and this is just so beautiful it has a slight like shimmer in it but it just makes your skin look super dewy even though it's like set which i really like because since my skin is oily i always have to like set a lot of powder but because it has a slight shimmer it doesn't make it look dry but like it's still matte if that makes any sense you see that like it's set but it's like dewy still it just looks so healthy i don't know then i'm going in with the this l'oreal true match powder but it's like a dark color i use it as a bronzer i'm just slightly bronzing i didn't set there which i usually do but i don't know usually i feel like it becomes muddy but for some reason, I've been able to make it work. I just kind of do it in like an upward motion, sweeping it over my nose. Then taking the Bare Minerals Bronzer in Faux Tan. Using more fluffy brush to It was like kind of sunny this morning and now it's like so gloomy which is so annoying because I thought I was able to take some photos in the sun but I guess not. Using the NARS Orgasm Blush and really putting this on the high points. Oh I love how this looks. This is the most beautiful blush I own. Like I could literally throw away all my blushes and be content with just having this one. I'm adding highlight on top of this but you really don't have to. Anyways, this powder, so good. So, so good. Okay. Now, that's kind of it for the skin. It's the only thing I've been doing different. 
most products I've had for a while besides the primer and the powder. But it's just like the combination is just so good. Let me just finish up my makeup real quick and then we will, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna shoot some photos. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be filming it because I really just kind of want to get get it done. I'm just gonna get some work done, and I don't have like a whole bunch of time. Like I really just need to get this done, clean up, and like prep for picking up Barney. Let me put a different case on my phone. So yeah, I don't. I think I'm just gonna get it done. I'll be back probably. Period. But I'll leave all the products I use down below so you can shop them if you want. As well as my lip combination. Okay, so I was about to go film, but I'm quickly going to make my mom some lunch. And then I'm going to go ahead and film real quick. I was able to shoot two outfits, which went well. hope the stabilization is kind of okay because it's not on the normal like mode. <laughs> So Barney is currently in his bench, or in his crate, I keep calling it a bench, that's the Dutch word. Um, just for him to kind of calm down for a second, see that's what he needs to do. Definitely going to need to look up a bit more in crate training, but whew, it's been, I haven't filmed anything since um, we got home. First of all, he peed in the car, which was so funny. I was filming a Snapchat and then he peed. Barnacle, I need you Barney. Oh, nee, hij plast. Hey, oh my god, hij peeing. Maar niet uit, het komt niet in. Hey, mijn auto liep. Het komt. Oh, oh my my god. god, het meurt, joh. Ah! One thing that's really difficult, which is making me feel super overwhelmed right now, is that he's not liking Devin. Um, which I wasn't really expecting, especially because he obviously had a little brother and um, who he came with. And so I was like, okay, he's definitely like used to having another dog around, so... I wasn't expecting him to be the way he is, but he even barks at himself in the mirror, which I'm gonna have to look up in a second 
just to kind of see what that is, how to fix it. Right now I've turned around my big mirror and in the hallway we put um, something in front of it so he doesn't see himself there. Um, just for right now until I figure out how to deal with that. Um, and I definitely want to look into puppy training but the thing is that I first want to see how him and Devin warm up to each other. Um, I try to kind of walk him around the living room and like it's hard because I don't want Devin, Devin on a leash like the whole time because if he wants to go drink water I want him to be able to do that but if he gets a bit too close then Barney completely snaps and yeah I'm gonna look into that a little bit because I wasn't really expecting it um maybe I was a bit naive I don't know obviously that's what comes with dogs sorry for this weird thing on the screen but yeah i'm gonna have to look into that i think i'm just gonna leave him in his crate for a little bit now maybe i'll just bring my laptop into my room and just chill here i just need him to relax because it's been such an overwhelming day i did just go on a super long walk he sniffed everywhere but didn't pee or poop i'm hoping he's not gonna take a shit in his um crepe if he does and we'll deal with it um but i'm just gonna leave him there for right now because i'm i can't just like leave him in the living room or leave him anywhere else without paying attention because he like tries to get on it everything as well which obviously he's a puppy he's nine months like he's in a completely different environment so it's understandable but it's a lot um i was just i think the fact that he's not doing well with Devin is what's making it extra hard like if that was fine then I wouldn't mind it because I know that obviously with a puppy you have to do everything and I would just make sure like okay we're gonna do some puppy training I'm gonna make calls you know to see where we can go to but because he's like this with Devin I'm like okay if this doesn't change we're gonna have to call it quits which is why I'm happy that I did it's called option adoption it's basically like I said this in a vlog before it's kind of like a three week trial and in those three weeks you're still able to be like okay let's actually not do it because so and so and for me that was really important because obviously like I want Devin to have a friend with him I don't want it to be a constant fight and I know they're not going to be able to like be alone after like a day but within a couple of days I do need to see some change my battery's dying I need to see a little bit of change of like his behavior towards Devin like he needs to slowly warm up to him and not be so aggressive because if that's the case, I'm going to have to call them and be like, I'm so sorry, but that's just not going to work out because I don't want that, you know? Which would be so sad, but it's something I need to keep in mind. And it's like, right now, I'm going to wait until I try to get any puppy training. Until I see a like change in his behavior with Devin because that's just the most important to me at the moment. That needs to be good and then we're gonna work on training him and getting him, you know, to behave and like learn commands and stuff like that. But that's like right now that's not my biggest concern. My biggest concern is that he gets along with Devin. So very difficult. I also feel bad because obviously we took him away from his brother. So I feel like that might also have to do with it. So yeah, um I'm probably gonna see you guys tomorrow. I what I did have a no appointment tomorrow, but I'm gonna actually call um not call, I'm gonna tell my battery died. I'm not going to call her, but I'm going to text her right now. Yeah, I'll just ask her if we can do it, like, move it towards the weekend. Even though I need my nose done, like, look at this. It's awful, but it's whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it's nothing I can do about it. He's fucking farting. This smells like absolute shit. Like, literally smells like shit. So, I'm walking Barney right now. He finally pooped earlier, which he hadn't done the two times I walked him yesterday. So, hello. Oh, there he is happy about that i did send the lady from the adoption center an email she emailed me this morning wanting to know how the first night went and i basically just told her that he is very aggressive aggressive towards Devin, and she's going to ask their like behavioral therapist type of thing for dogs to call me today so that's good because i was like i'm not exactly sure how to deal with that how beautiful is this view So yeah, I'm just um, kind of walking with him and then I'm going to walk Devin after I have some coffee. But I still have to keep them separate, which is very frustrating. So he's probably going to be in the bench or in the crate quite a bit today just because like I can't have him in the living room with Devin because it's just not going well. Oh, it's just so frustrating, which is making me think like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? Because it's not supposed to be the case. Cool. 
I'll probably have my coffee in my room so I can leave the crate open. And then once I leave with Devin, he's like, I'm closing the crate. But, dude, I don't know, it's a lot. Hopefully, the behavioral therapist can help me out a bit because if he doesn't, if she's like, because like, the, the woman said, like, that's not supposed to happen, right? So it's like, if if that isn't fixable, then he has to go, which is so sad. Because I do really like him. He doesn't feel completely like my own dog yet, but obviously I've just had him for a day. Like, it kind of just feels like I'm, like, just taking care of someone else's dog at the moment. But um, hopefully if we can fix that, then, like, it should be good. Because if we can't, then I can't even do anything else. Because I have to, like, watch him 24-7. And I would love to just be able to kind of leave him in the living room to roam around. And be able to do something else in the meantime, you know what I mean? I'm now walking Devin. Come on. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> I'm so stressed out. Um, the woman from the adoption center, I don't know if I said this before, but she said that the behavioral therapist is going to call me today. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. Barney is currently in his bench, in his crate, <laughs> in his crate at home. Because there's literally just, oh god, it's really difficult. I... What really sucks is like the fact that he has to learn everything is totally fine with me. You know, going to like puppy training and stuff like that, totally down. Like walking him and him not really knowing what to do and being a mess is fine with me. But the aggression towards Devin is really bothering me and it's really just like I can't, I don't know. It's really difficult and it's making me kind of not regret adopting him or like taking him in because i haven't officially adopted him yet but it's making me really just kind of like i didn't really sleep much i was like dude why did i do this was this a good idea i was just really not expecting him to be so aggressive towards them and also like the other dogs outside is like fine like i can deal with that because with training like we could totally probably get over that but it's a lot dude i don't know We'll see. I'm finishing my walk with Devin and then I'm gonna go home. I really need to eat something. I'm probably gonna kind of leave him in his crate for right now because if I don't, like I can't do anything. So I think I'm gonna eat something, take a quick shower, and then I'm gonna go back into my room and I'll open the crate door so he can like kind of walk around my room. But what's, it's just hard because I don't want him to be in there all day, but like there's nothing else I can do at the moment because I cannot trust him around Devin, so but this is like reality of like adopting a dog especially a dog from like a different country like a rescue dog it's not always gonna be sunshine and rainbows but I'm definitely trying so that's what's most important and I would love for it to just work out because I obviously want to give him a loving home but I'm not gonna have Devin suffer you know what I mean I have just done my skincare and my mom just went to the Hi, Dev. to the hospital with my brother again because she's still in a lot of pain. I'm just quickly going to sweep the floors and I'm going to load some laundry, I think, or do some laundry because it's just like a lot. I also still need to eat, but you know what? It's fine. This is what I'm wearing. We'll leave links down below. Hi, Lucy. I know you need attention too, huh? Oh, baby. I'm exhausted. I'm just going to quickly sweep the floors. And then I'll show you me separating the laundry like an adult. I just realized it's dark as fuck in here, so you're probably not even going to be able to see. You know what? Never mind. I'll just, uh, I've just been doing work in my bed because I wanted to stay in the room with him. <sighs> yeah, it's um been a weird day. I just did some laundry. I didn't film it. I'm sorry. I still haven't been called by their behavioral therapist type of person. So I'm waiting for that. I'm having the... I'm like trying to decide like how do I feel about everything. Um, He's obviously the cutest thing ever. I don't really have that, like when we got Devin, I feel like right away, I was like, this is my dog, like the moment we took him home, and I don't really have that with him yet, even though he's like obsessed with me, and he's like super, 
attached. It just feel it feels very different. Um, and I think because he's so aggressive towards Devin, that's making me because like Devin's obviously like he's like my dog. You know what I mean? And obviously, if there's any type of threat, I'm gonna be like, oh, hold up, I don't like that. So I feel like that's making me look at him differently, which I probably shouldn't. I don't know. It's really I'm just curious to see what she will tell me, what we can do about it. I'm just still feeling kind of uncomfortable. Does that make any sense? I'm just trying to be like super realistic with you guys about this. Like I don't want to sugarcoat and be like, you know what I mean? And it's obviously weird because he's like, he has to be in my room. So it doesn't feel normal. I think that's why I'm uncomfortable. Because I like, I don't want to sit here all day. But I also don't want to leave him alone in here all day. But I also can't have him in the living room with Devin at the moment. Until I hear back from that lady and know what kind of plan we can figure out. I'm just going to continue doing some work on my laptop and I will update you guys throughout the process. It's probably going to be like an all over the place type of vlog but I mean besides me getting a pup obviously I'm also just like taking over all the household chores and everything like doing laundry and cleaning and stuff because my mom can't at the moment. So everything's like super emotionally a lot. Anyways, I just finished editing a video. I sent that over. I need to prep some videos for this week that I want to film. What I miss, cause my life is dismissed. I keep searching for my bliss. It took days to finally start right. Okay, so I'm currently walking Devin. I'm just filming this on my phone. I haven't vlogged at all today because I've just been so busy working and then also trying to pay attention to Barney. So Vlogging hasn't been great, and this is also just the last thing I'm gonna do for this vlog. I think I'm bleeding through my period cup. Oh my god. Anyways, so this morning I walked Barney with Devin and my sister. So my sister, um, I'm literally bleeding through my period cup right now. I'm freaking out a little. It went okay. The beginning was kind of a little barky. Ew, what's this on my. I'm breaking out because period. <laughs> um, yeah, quite a bit of barking in the beginning. And then, oh, I'm going to walk back because I can feel. Wait, how am I? Let's go this way. I need to go back. It went okay. He's warming up to him a little. I also went and laid in the living room for a little bit, but I need to keep his leash on because whenever Devin tries to walk by, he freaks out. So that's progress, I guess. I'm just like so mentally exhausted. It's definitely not as not easy at all. Um, so that's going better, which I'm happy about. I like literally can't even think anymore. My brain is dead. That's the update. Um, I'm definitely gonna end the vlog here. I have no idea how long it's gonna be. I just need to, you know, kind of create a new routine in life because everything's just been so different, especially with my mom. Also, obviously having got surgery and stuff like I'm very mentally drained and I need to kind of give myself some rest so that I can focus on Barney and I don't give up because I'm like mentally just like super tired but yeah I'm just gonna kind of see how everything goes this next week it's Tuesday right now and then this weekend I'm gonna kind of look back at the week and see like what progress have we made what do I feel like could still be better and also just kind of figure out if it's a good match or not. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's it for the vlog. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. Next vlog um, would be probably my first week of school. I mean, this is my first week, but I don't have like an actual schedule yet. I'm just doing some assignments at home. So next week I'm actually gonna have classes and stuff online and in person. So I'm gonna take you guys along with that next week. But yeah, thanks for watching. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.